Hey everyone, this is Shane from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a little variation of a Tequili fly. So um, just starting off, I prefer a um, 4X long streamer hook. Doesn't matter. Um, I go from 6 all the way to 2 sometimes. Um, so I'll start with my 4X long hook. Uh, this is going to be a 4. Um, the next component, I'm going to use an orange bead on this fly. This is a 3 16 I prefer the bigger bead uh, just because I like my flies to get down. So we're going to start off with that. Then I'm going to go with some 35 thousandths lead wire. And I do a lot on here once again i really like my flies to get down and stay down even in the summertime when the water's low um, i just find that these flies getting down deeper and staying deep just give us a more productive day on the water so once i have the majority of the hook shank covered with lead i'm now going to start with my uh, flat wax nylon the danville's uh, the color doesn't really matter. You'll probably see a little bit of a pattern here with orange. There are times of the year that I feel like orange really accelerates. It's almost like a hot spot on like your Euro nymph, uh, flies. So that's, that's my thought process. I have a little confidence in it. So that's what I go with. So next we'll start off with some marabou. Sometimes you'll see me throw the variegated, sometimes solid. You can throw these flies in any color under the sun. Uh, brown is a favorite of mine. I've gone uh, olive. Uh, it's, it's the flavor of the day when you get out on the river. So going to give a few wraps in here. Bring those wraps just about even with the barb on the hook. And then I'm going to make sure that I have my marabou tied right behind the lead wraps. So part of that is to have a nice smooth transition right here. So now that I got that tied in, I'm going to put a thread base on my lead wraps. And when I get to tying in this Estaz, Kind of like a golden retriever, I don't mind the orange coming through the wraps. So now I'm going to take my Estaz. You can go flat brown. You can go metallic. You can do any combination. So here I'm going to go ahead and tie in my Estaz. And it is directional. So try to really get those those fibers going down and it's almost like you'll be palmering it give you kind of like a palmered finish so nice even base what I'm going to do when I come in here make sure I'm nice and even for the most part so now I have round rubber legs uh, you can use any color you can do variegated you can do solid one advantage of these round rubber legs is they're stuck together so when I tie in, when I tie these in, I have one piece of material to deal with. Whereas if I had a different kind of rubber leg, I would be fighting two of these. So what I'm doing is I'm stripping two of these legs off right here. So there's two right there. And that's giving me one to tie in. But once I'm done, I'm going to come in and split the legs so it gives you more buggy look and just that good movement so once again i have one strand but there's two legs in here and i'm going to start just in front of the hook point i like to double it up bring it up top tie in and what i do here is just i really like to have these legs on top 
So two legs on top, I'm gonna go about halfway, another set of legs, wrap around, bring it up top. They do not have to be even because you're gonna trim them anyways. Make sure they're nice and happy right there. Lash them in and then go up again. Another set of legs on top of the hook shank. Double it up, tie it in. So now we've got three sections. So holding these legs out of the way, I'm just going to kind of do staggered wraps. I'm not going to stack them on top of each other because I don't really want a super dense body. So now, just taking that S-DAS forward, make sure you definitely get it in front of the rubber legs to make sure they lay back. Just progressing that S-DAS forward and bringing it forward again. And then right here, I'm gonna stop the fly. So here I'm just going to tie it off, give it a couple good wraps, nice and solid. I'm going to trim my extra here, kind of pull all the material back, just get a nice clean finish. Throw in a couple hand whip finishes, cinch it down. Really pull it down in there, snap off, trim a little bit of the excess I got tied in here. Let me smooth it out just a little bit for a taper. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to trim these legs up just a little bit. That looks good. So now you can see where these legs are together. I'm just going to come in and pop them loose just so they're separate. A little bit more of a buggy look, a little bit more movement. And that's pretty much it. That is my variation of the Tequili. I like fishing it deep, drifting it. You can give it some strips and jigs. Always watch that fly line because it'll bump or get tight, and that's when you know to set the hook. Thanks for watching.